Hi guys, Daniel here. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be looking at forest pack and scattering things. Okay, let's go. So I have this scene set up. It's just a basic sun and camera. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to try and scatter something on this plane that I have created over here. So to start off with forest pack, all you need to do is come to this plus icon and we are going to click on the little ball over here and we're going to scroll down to i2 software then we're going to click on forest pack pro and click on whichever object you want to scatter something on so for instance we are going to click on this plane okay now we are going to go into the modify panel and to start off with we are going to use a preset so if you want to scatter something that is a preset we will go to library and inside of forest pack you have the starter pack library and we are going to choose a palm tree for example load selected we are going to click ok yes for proxies and over here we have our palm tree scattered. So it's showing up as a triangle or a pyramid in this case. And that's just to conserve memory. And if we go into our camera and we go into our interactive rendering, we're going to see what that gives us. Okay, so we have our first scatter. And that is showing us all our trees over here. So to start off with, you can choose different types of scattering by image, for example. So this is dense, full will be super full like that. And then you can essentially scroll down and have a look at the different, um, the different images that determine the scattering. In terms of the density of the palm trees, we are going to go to units over here. And the lower you go down, the more trees you'll have. And the higher the number, the less amount of trees that you'll have. So if we come back to dense once again, that's going to look like that. And if we click on full, it's going to look like that. So at the moment when we, when we click on full, we see that there's a repetition of this model. So what we can do is we can come down to transform and we can, if this thing just stops moving, enable rotation. And that will give a rotation to each tree. So now you see that there's no repetition. There's no like mirroring of each model. And another thing that we can enable is variation in scale you can also enable translation and that's just going to angle the trees in uh, different directions so if we just play around with the scale for example we can go down to a minimum scale of one and a maximum scale of 120 percent so we're going to have very small trees and very big trees and rotation is from minus five degrees to five degrees on the x-axis then you can go on the y-axis and the z-axis but you won't go on the z-axis because it would invert them okay so that's that that's how you scatter something on a plane but you can also scatter things on splines and different uh, other objects so we are going to draw a spline we're just going to close this for the moment and we're going to go to top view by pressing t and we are just going to take our spline and we are going to draw a random spline around this little oasis that we've created and what we are going to do is we're going to come back to forest pack create a new one select the spline this time click yes and we go to our modifiers 
And instead of going into the library this time, we are going to choose add over here, new item, and we're going to go to custom object. And when that is selected, we are just going to click on our tree that I have imported into the scene. We're going to select it. Displays a display as proxy to save memory. Yes, we are going to click yes. And now we have density. We're going to set the density to full just so that we can see more. Move the units down to get more density on the spline. And we are going to check what that looks like in our renderer. So now you can see these trees are scattered around and we can see that they are following the spline. There we go. And if we drop the number of the units down, you can see that they all follow following the line. This is a really cool tool to use. And again, we are seeing that they are repeating exactly. So all you need to do is go down once again to scale. We're going to change the scale a little bit and we are going to adjust the rotation. And now we have this beautiful oasis looking pretty good. But what if you have another plane somewhere else? All you need to do is go to standard primitives, create, for example, another plane over here because we have, say, another garden over here. What we need to do is we just need to go back into the palm forest pack. I'm going to click on H, going to find forest pack 01. I'm going to come back to the modify panel and we're just going to wait for that to update. Yes. And now we are going to look for surfaces. Okay. So we're going to click on surface and we're going to say add new surface. Okay. And we're going to select this one. And now we have just created a new forest on the right hand side over here. It's that easy. Also, what we can do is we can use rectangles. So, for example, instead of using planes uh, or geometry, we can use uh, splines. The only difference with that is that geometry, you can move to different levels and it will update, whereas if you're creating a forest pack on a spline based object, it will only uh, scatter the objects on one height level. So you won't be able to move the splines to different heights, for example. So we are just going to come back, create new forest pack. So come down to um, I2 software forest pack. Same procedure, just click on the um, the rectangle spline based. Going to go to modifiers, and this time we are going to create some grass over here. So to do that, we are going to go to the library, click OK. I'm just going to close that for the moment, just for speed purposes, and go to library once again, and let's have a look what they have here. So we have some lawns. So we're going to pick this one, for example, and we're going to click load, press OK, OK, yes, and it should load. Now we have a beautiful lawn over here. So we are just going to get a little bit closer. There we go. And I'm just going to move the target a little bit higher. So we have the rest of our scatter in the scene. Start the interactive rendering. And as you can see over here, we're starting to have a grass layer as well. Well, guys, it's that simple. 
and that should get you started in forest pack hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial if you did please subscribe and have a good day cheers bye